We're getting ready to get back into the camper for the season and over the winter we bought a brand new EcoFlow Delta Pro battery backup. Maybe they call them a battery generator. And I want to figure out how to wire this into the camper to act as a backup generator for days when we're traveling or when we're dry camping. And I want all of that to fit in the front pass through or the, the switch needs to be easily accessible when we pause on a drive day. Step one is going to be figuring out how to get the mains power wire from the back of my circuit breaker box here all the way into the side pass through. This is where I want the sub sub panel installed in here. You can see I've already got a wire in and I've taken down a bunch of the different boards so I can get to the underbelly and I need to wire in uh, this extension wire, connect it to the mains power wire on the back of the circuit breaker. Um, and before that, I need to disconnect all the power and remove the batteries so that I don't have any charge in the circuits. Screws are out now. I should be able to just. Oops. Now, let's connect up this big old thick wire to my main power. Get my main power all the way back to this pass through. So let's get this main cable, the original main cable, disconnected and then connected into that extension cable that I showed before. These six gauge wires are wildly thick. See if I can remember red on the right and black on the left. That is ground loose and now this entire main wire is loose and I can get it back through this conduit. You know, when I'm doing DIY stuff, <laughs> when I'm watching DIY stuff on YouTube, I like to see every little step so that I can just mimic it. Didn't break any wires, I did destroy the insulation at the end, but I still have plenty of slack and hopefully I can weave it underneath the stairs where I have plenty of space. Oh my goodness, okay, I've got it pulled through. Now I have my extension wire, my original wire to my mains, and I just need to put those together inside of this junction box. After quite a bit of wrestling, we got all four conductors connected. Put a lid on it and then slide it under there. So I've got one cable strung all the way to the spot where I ultimately want it over there on that wall. Um, and I need to run another cable back to connect to the original breaker box inside of the camper, which is right there hanging out of the wall. And the cable I need to run is laying in the driveway right here. So let's get that into the camper. Okay, I fought this big old thick cable all the way from the pass through under the stairs back out. And now I need to connect these four conductors back in to my junction box, my original junction box. We got it wired into the switch box. So I think the main circuit breaker is done and now to add the sub panel. For the switch, I'm actually gonna try a mini circuit breaker switch, which uh, has an auto feature and a manual switch to go from a primary source and a secondary source. I don't know, I don't know if this will work. I've never done mini circuit breakers, but I got a tiny little mini circuit breaker box and we're gonna see if it works. This will eventually be the EcoFlow 
and this is main power and you can see the lights go on and off when I switch it so it's working already um, I just need to add another outlet to it day two and I need to rough in where I want my boxes to go in the front um, compartment here because I roughed in all the wiring yesterday to move the mains power back to that switch and now I need to put a couple of boxes in this compartment somewhere and I think I'd like them up here near the top so I need to drill some holes so that I can pass some wires through I think it's my next step There's a thing called a wire ferrule, and I think I can use these things to actually clamp the wires together to fit better. So this is me trying it. I suppose I need to trim this wire. Let's start on, start on the black wire because it's one of my thicker wires here. There we go. So now we got some wire at the end. I can put it in here. And I can insert it into the clamp, presumably clamp down on it, maybe. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Let's see if that works better when I insert these into electrical connectors. All right, that looks like a pretty good roughed in connection. Two boxes, ready for electricity. I think the box turned out pretty good. 
First thing I need to clean up is grounding this metal box before I put it in. So I put a hook. It's under the stairs. Put a cap on it. We'll be ready to move to the next step. All right, a couple days ago when I installed these wires into my circuit inside the camper, I just wasn't happy with the, the loose wire. So I'm gonna put some ferrules on that. Got my ends on, now to get these wires back in there. That cleans it up a lot. And um, I don't have any little stray threads that might cause shorts. Well, my install seems to be working. I have my EcoFlow plugged into my new port that I put in this front pass-through. And I have this outlet wired up to the, like the mains power uh, at the back of the camper. So if I'm plugged into a pedestal, then I can charge my EcoFlow here. And if I'm not plugged into the pedestal, this doesn't have any power. And this is the EcoFlow installed into the undercarriage. I mean, that thing is a beast. Here, I have my mini circuit board or mini circuit breaker panels, my sub panel. This is mains power. This is the generator or the EcoFlow. And this is the out or the breaker for my little charging port, which is not powered right now. And if we go inside right now, my camper is not plugged in to a pedestal or an outlet. It is running off the EcoFlow. Let's turn on my AC and see if that EcoFlow can actually turn the AC on. Okay, that kind of loud noise is the AC, so it's actually working. I should also be able to turn the TV on. And the TV's turning on. So I'd say this was a total success. It's our first glamorous pit stop with the new EcoFlow setup. And presumably we'll be able to use the microwave out here. All right, it is working, <laughs> all worth it. I'd say that the EcoFlow is a success. It lets us stop in random places on travel days and uh, use the camper like normal. So this has been great.